this artwork, an NFT of a massive collage of 5,000 individual digital paintings created by Mike Winkleman, also known online as Beeble, sold for $69 million at the prestigious Christie's auction recently. This instantly makes him one of the most valuable living artists in the world, behind British painter David Hockney and US artist Jeff Koons. Recently, interest in NFTs have spiked dramatically with the sale of digital memes such as the Nyan Cat selling for $600,000 and sporting moments such as a LeBron James dunk captured in a short video format selling for more than $200,000. Almost anything that can exist in a digital format such as music, videos, online video game items, and even a tweet can be converted into an NFT and be bought and sold by others online. So what exactly are NFTs and are they a potential investment option? And what is the future of these NFTs? And where do you go if you want to buy some? And finally, how could you set up your own NFTs? And that's what we're gonna find out in this video. NFT stands for non-fungible tokens. Now, fungible to me sounds a little bit like fungus, uh, but it has nothing to do with that. Uh, fungible basically means that something can be exchanged. The most simple example is with basic currency. So let's say if I have 10 $10 bills, it's equivalent of me having one $100 bill. Each dollar is the same and no different from the other dollar. However, if something is non-fungible, it means that each item is unique. Each NFT generates a token that is unique and cannot be replicated. At the heart of NFT is the blockchain technology. The blockchain technology allows users to keep a track record of who owns a particular digital asset, and everyone else on the blockchain can also see who owns it. Now, it is also the same technology that powers Bitcoin, Dogecoin, Ethereum, and many other cryptocurrencies. NFTs primarily use the Ethereum blockchain system instead of Bitcoin because Ethereum already has a token system built into it, while Bitcoin doesn't. Although other alternative uh, cryptocurrencies have also been experimented with, uh, Ethereum is the main one that's being used at the moment. This begs the question, why would anyone want to buy a digital art that can be easily replicated and downloaded online elsewhere? Now, it's precisely because that the uh, digital artwork can be easily replicated that there is an added incentive for someone to say that they own the original. Even though most of the time when you purchase an NFT, you don't actually get the source file that you use when you do editing. Basically, all you get is a certificate saying that you own the original, even though you don't technically have it. Now, this idea may be difficult to grasp, but it's no different than having a certificate that says you own a famous painting, but it's just in storage. Except in this case, the art is in a digital form. Some bands and music producers, such as Kings of Leon and Dead Mouse, has been quick to adopt this technology and produce unique NFT content, such as albums and stickers for their fans. There's also the idea that some people believe that NFTs are just an asset that can be bought and sold later at a higher price. Now, speculation of NFTs have gone rampant over the past couple of weeks. An example of this is an auction for the first Twitter message sent by uh, Twitter founder Jack Dorsey, which is up for sale for up to $2.5 million. Another example is the website selling unique digital pixel art called CryptoPunks, with each uh, pixel character selling for tens of thousands of dollars, and with the most uh, desirable ones selling for up to millions. NFT investments has definitely become a giant speculative bubble. Another main concern with NFTs is that they are a breeding ground for illegal money laundering. But realistically, people could have been doing that uh, with physical artwork for centuries already. Now, this is just a way for people to do that uh, within the comfort of their own homes. Personally, I believe that the current NFT craze is a bubble that will eventually pop. Now, many of the digital art pieces do not hold the value that its price tag may suggest. 
Now this was similar to the early cryptocurrency craze, where anything with the word blockchain in it suddenly gained tremendous value with speculators. Does anyone even remember when Kodak tried to come up with their own Kodak coin? Now that seemed like a lifetime ago, but it was only back in 2018. One of the other major drawbacks for some people is that NFTs are based on blockchain technology and it requires huge energy consumption by computers to verify the process. Now, even though NFTs at the moment are mostly transacted uh, with Ethereum, which is a more efficient cryptocurrency than Bitcoin, it still consumes a vast amount of energy and could be a major contributor to carbon dioxide creation and climate change. But on the other hand, I am extremely optimistic about the opportunities this represents for content creators. Now, let me explain. Imagine you are a digital artist and you release a limited 100 copy of your work uh, in NFT form. You can think of this as if you're a company issuing 100 shares. Now, people could buy your NFT as a way of supporting your work. Now, NFTs can also be set up so that the original NFT creator can receive royalties each time the uh, NFT is subsequently sold. If you are an investor, by buying the artist's NFT, you are essentially investing in the artist. Now, if the artist one day becomes uh, really famous, you may be able to sell the artist's original NFTs for a significant amount of money. Now, an example of this is where one of Beeple's earlier work was initially bought for $66,000 and resold on the secondary market for $6.6 .6 million just four months later. This provides artists a chance to monetize their digital work and a chance for investors to grab an early work of an artist before they are famous. Now this could potentially revolutionize the way that people buy, sell, and exchange digital content. So what do you do if you're interested in getting into NFT trading? Now, first of all, you will need to sign up with one of the many uh, NFT marketplaces currently available at the moment. Now the biggest marketplace currently available is OpenSea, uh, but there are also others like Rarible and Nifty Gateway. If you are a fan of basketball, you can also get NFTs of top NBA players from the site NBA Top Shot. After signing up with the particular marketplace, you will also need to connect your cryptocurrency wallet and add some uh, Ethereum for buying NFTs uh, because it's the most currently used trading uh, cryptocurrency for those marketplace at the moment. On the other hand, if you are a budding artist that wants to sell your art as NFTs online, the easiest place to start would be on uh, OpenSea or Rarible because they don't have a strict requirement and anyone can sign up. You would also need a cryptocurrency wallet uh, such as Metamask. And as for the fees, there's an initial setup fee of around 60 to 100 US dollars and a fee to connect your wallet to the platform. Listing on OpenSea is free currently, but they do take a 2.5% commission for a completed sale. And the tokens are only generated after a sale has been completed. Overall, I think NFTs are in a major bubble when it comes to buying and selling of digital artworks. And most of the artworks are completely overpriced. But as a platform, I think it has tremendous potential to allow digital content creators to monetize their work and an alternative method for people that want to support these creators. So overall, I'm a huge fan of the NFT system. There are plenty of resources when it comes to finding more about NFTs and I'll link some uh, in the description down below. For me personally, NFT is a very exciting new field that I can't wait to learn more about. Uh, if you want to learn more about current investment options, check out my uh, reviews on current investments available in New Zealand and I will see you in the next video.